Legal Implications of Software Development The Failure of the New South Wales T-Card System This presentation is about the T-Card system, how it failed and what we as programmers can learn from that. The T-Card system is an electronic contactless ticketing system that was supposed to refine the way we use public transport about 20 years ago. It has since been replaced obviously by the Opal Card system. The government first announced its plan to get this system active in 1997 in preparation for the 2000 Olympic Games. But as we know, this did not happen until about 2013 when the Apple Card system came in. The government contracted an organisation known as ERG to create this contactless system for them. But after, they, after many missed deadlines, the government wanted their money back and so a court case definitely ensued. The government wanted their money back due to the failure of the program and ERG wanted $200 million in damages. ERG wanted $200 million in damages because the government, was, uh, the government were allowing transport operators to undermine TCAR. Additionally, ERG felt that Railcorp insistence to keep legacy systems in place hindered them from making uh, effective progress. So the quote from John Watkins here, the uh, Transport Minister today, ongoing delays, failures and the company's appalling project management have led the government with no choice but to sue. The ERG was saying that they deserved the money because other companies were and transport companies were undermining their smart card. ERG also stated that Railcorp insisted on the replication of certain defects, bugs and errors that were present in its legacy computer systems. The outcomes of this court case. The case was settled out of court, with ERG returning $32 million of the initial $100 million expenditure to the government, so therefore a net loss of $70 million uh, were from was lost from taxpayers' money. Aside from this, the government was perhaps unable to utilise the tourism revenue of the 2000 Olympic Games to its fullest, and 12 years went down the drain before the Australian public got its, or well, before the New South Wales public got its T-card which is now called an Opal card. So very expensive. How has this affected us as computer programmers? The failure was essentially caused by bad project management. And we computer programmers must plan ahead to execute these plans if deadlines are to be met. And if we fail to do so, the consequences can be millions of dollars worth of legal costs as shown by the T-card system. ERG's claim that the bugs and errors left by older software affecting their programs is also valid. By keeping inherent defects in a, pro in a software system simply because it was good enough in the past means the future developers who are trying to build on software will have to create workarounds for a solution, ultimately making it much harder to create a decent program.